So hello everyone, I'm Spriti Goswami and I'm a Joy Business Facilitator. I'm also a Right Voice for You Facilitator and a Being You Facilitator. And I'm also a Certified Facilitator with Access Consciousness and a Talk to the Entities Facilitator. Have I missed out anything? No, I think that's all. So hi Aradha, so good to see you here. <laughs> Thanks for joining in. Thank so, you. Cool. So that's what it is. And so today we'll be talking about creating business, uh, creating beyond judgments. And uh, it's not just going to be limited to that. It can be anything that you'd like to ask me questions and uh, whatever. We, it can just take any direction it wants. Okay. So uh, before we get started, what does judgment mean to you? You can write, type it out on the chat if you want. And how many of you actually stop yourself based on judgments, other people's judgments? What's the value of that? So, uh, all right. The thing is, um, let me just mute everyone. When you have to speak, just unmute yourself or just put up that hand uh, thing. All right, now, um, what happens when people judge you? The first thing that, that you do is you tend to contract and shrink and make yourself absolutely small. Okay, that's the first thing that we do when someone is judging us. And now what's the value of that? How many times have you looked at sun? Okay, the regular sun. Okay, a lot of times people it's it's really really hot okay and people don't know how to deal with that if they feel really hot what do they do they'll go sit in the ac they'll take an umbrella if they have to step out or they'll wear sunglasses or they'll wear protective uh, hat or whatever to stop the intensity or protect themselves from the intensity of the sun but the sun does not stop itself the intensity okay it carries on it's just being the maximum possible intensity it can be, it can keep shining brightly. So what's the value of each one of you choosing to dim your shine? And for what? Just because other people cannot receive you? Just because other people cannot take your brilliance? Start being very, very, very aware of that. Start noticing where are you limiting yourself and stopping yourself? And what's the value of that? Right now, okay. So, what happens with your uh, with your business? So you can, you know, what you can, um, you can unmute yourself and speak. I'll prefer it that way. I would love it if you have questions because it'll, uh, yeah, I'll prefer it that way. So, most most people, if you have something to speak, just go ahead and talk. Let me just see the record. Okay, acceptance, you want to get accepted and loved more. And I don't bother much about others. That's, that's good, Ram, Cad. All right, now the thing is, with judgments, one more thing, the main thing is, people do judgments to control you. People will judge you to control you. And the first thing that you do is, as I mentioned earlier, you tend to shrink and make yourself less. And what's the value of that? Why would you allow anyone to control you? How does it matter what anybody else thinks about you? You know what you are. Focus on that. How many times do you actually stop your creations because someone cannot take it? If you are choosing more for yourself, and if that is bothering other people, or if that is toppling other people's apple carts, that's not your problem. You keep choosing for yourself all the time. Okay, uh, people will use all sorts of methods to stop you, whatever. They'll, they'll judge you left, right, and center. They'll talk about you behind your back. They'll gang up against you. They'll have a whole uh, group of friends who will suddenly you know, stop talking to you. They will do all sorts of things, especially the main way they, that they tend to control you is by withdrawing or just not supporting you or just, they just stop talking to you. Now the thing is, you have two choices, either to be the effect of it, either you make them so significant and so great and you keep feeling bad as to why uh, they are moving away from you and you just have to keep on justifying yourself to them, 
that, oh, I didn't mean it this way. This is how you thought about it. One is that, or other thing is people who actually genuinely love you and care about you, know you for what you are. Okay. And frankly, those are the people that matter. So you don't have to go about justifying yourself to people. Just be there, go all out there. All right. Okay. Now what happens when we start controlling ourselves because other people are judging us. So the first thing we do is we control ourselves. What happens with control is control is actually when we are controlling, we are creating places where we have no choice. Okay. So, and how much control does it, how much energy does it take to keep yourself actually controlled, defined and limited, limited, sorry. Okay. When you're willing to be, um, out of control, you're willing to be the power of you. That is something that you have to focus on. Okay. Now, um, what happened? Sorry, there's a message. What is business to you? Are you asking me that question, Aradna? Okay. What is business to me? Business to me is joyful, fun. It's that energy of total fun. Okay. And what can we do to make it more fun? Beyond this reality. Thank you for these questions. These are, these are my questions. Totally. Okay. So business is something that you do that creates a possibility of money by the fact that you enjoy it. Okay. That's, that's what it's all about. The, what is it? What are the talents, abilities and capabilities that each one of you have that you've not yet acknowledged that if you were to acknowledge would create lots of numerous revenue streams for you? Okay, a lot of us think, okay, this particular thing we are good at, but nobody, it's not such a big deal. Whatever you're usually very good at, you don't really make it a big deal. How can you start actually creating all those things that are fun for you into numerous revenue streams? Okay, so this particular thing about business is something that you do that creates a possibility of making lots of money. That's what business means to me. That's the energy with which you start choosing any of your creations. Okay. So uh, how do you relate that? Like, um, so my question is like, I totally get the joy of it, but how do, can you say something more around who you be as what Simon says that uh, if you're living, if you're breathing, you're in business in, yeah, so, in, so, in, to this reality, like how actually business actually looks like with the taxes and all the systems and, you know, um, so I, where this question is coming from is also because of course, when you were in your reality, the reality that you can like, Oh, you're just sort of the joy of forming it, creating it and having fun. But the moment you think, the linearity of this reality of the business, it's just like, you know, the, you just go back to your little mind. Yeah. Mind so the mind. thing is, how you create your life is actually, it depends on you. All right. So if you start focusing on how others want you to live their life, that's not going to be fun. Most of us, when we are creating a business, for us, everybody, uh, for most of us, we start thinking, oh, business is going to be really hard work. This is, we have to be really, really serious in it. And we have to put in a lot of efforts and only then the money will start showing up. And it's, it, it gets really, really overwhelming. What if you could actually choose to create a different reality, not based on what others are choosing, not based on what, how others create their business, Linearity is like in a row, one follows the next. Okay. What if you didn't choose to create a business like that? What if you actually followed an energy and chose from that space? Okay. When you, when I'm talking about following an energy, I'm talking about, um, see, there's something that comes up and you really, uh, something that excites you, something that you'd like to wake up to every morning and then just really you know you know it might not be right you might think oh uh so and so will not like it if i choose this but every morning if when you wake up and you really cannot get that idea or that thing out of your head that's something that's like following an energy or choosing that because you know whether in this reality it fits in or not that's something that excites you so that's about following an energy 
so for me it's like um i follow my heart and i follow my energy and i just go keep going randomly like i just just don't follow any particular system i don't even reach to the money point it's so funny like yeah you know? so that's what right what is what is fun for you there is an energy of creation there's an energy of fun element that that's what you start focusing on okay like don't have to even focus on anything what drives you that yeah that's spirit that choosing of, whatever whether so it makes how do you manage sense. that with the so where i get really mixed up the moment i'm like oh when i look back and like i see everything is here away everywhere and the next shit i don't know how to like right now oh mg to the manage the money the costing the and you know profit loss can you can you hire someone to do that for you yeah but you, they tell so me that this, this is all this grind according to this reality is with me that you are always in the loss and i'm like uh, can you can okay. you actually look for someone who will be a contribution Okay. From the space, see, they are just trying. They're doing the job. They're trying to see it from a different way. But can you ask for someone who's non-linear to show up for your work? Cool. All But, the fun, all the stuff, the bookkeeping part, the things that are not fun, just hire someone to do that for you. You just go ahead. So then, then guess what? When you hire someone to do the grinding part of it, you get to do all the fun stuff. So when I do that, and I kind of did it for a month or two, and and they get back to me saying that hey you are totally running it in a loss like there is no profit at all and you like totally into loss for everything can you and can you acknowledge that maybe you're creating for the future i do but then how do you sustain that now? at this moment if it looks like loss but uh, what next yeah so i keep going with that energy so yeah probably i wanted to you know that. what you're aware of okay you know when things are not working out you'll know when to move out please trust your awareness more than anyone else's no matter how capable they are go with your own awareness it it makes I'm, me go more at a jet speed now thank you for that yes you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome okay cool so I, i'm sorry i just get to start going all over the place with this is so much information that i'd like to give there is a question okay what if creating beyond is a choice to be joyful with mind okay cool So the thing is creating your life is your business okay start realizing that it's not just about business right now but creation of your life is your business and what's the value of creating something that where others are judging you they are just doing that to stop you okay we were talking about judgments and how we end up stopping ourselves in business and creations it's more about when someone is judging you and you're stopping yourself that now you start focusing on their basically they want you to fit into a box okay when people are judging you you're showing them something that they would like to choose for themselves but their own stories of limitations are greater so that's the reason they are not choosing so they will keep judging you to stop you from being more okay but start acknowledging what inspiration and invitation are you being for them instead of stopping yourself okay what if you start focusing on wow that's interesting so and so is not liking it what invitation can i be to them just lower your barriers and that's the only question you ask what what inspiration and invitation can i be for them also to choose greater okay it's like a typical pulling the you know that thing about a frog i'm not sure what it is it's like frog pulling the other frogs down and not let, letting them grow okay most people like to feel good about themselves because but if they can pull you down okay let's take for example when you're doing access especially okay you start opening up to so much more possibilities a lot of times a lot of your friends will fall away from you they'll just move away from you they will not really like um uh, whatever was going on at that time they will not be very happy for the success that you're choosing and creating for yourself or they'll just be very jealous or they will just not be able to identify with you anymore okay the thing is and a lot of us stop ourselves because we feel my god now we are losing friends but the thing is can you actually start acknowledging that you when you basically your it suits your friends to see you limited and to be less than them okay because now they can identify with you and 
you it's the same they feel at par or at level with you okay or maybe a little above you so that works for them as long as you start as long as the moment you start stepping into your greatness they are not able to take that okay so then they will find reasons to judge you to pull you down to make sure you come back to the same level okay but here's where you have to start making a choice be willing to be unstoppable okay be willing to be undefined be willing to be limitless no stopping for anyone ever okay you know what you want just go for it just keep choosing more and more and more and greater and greater and greater no stopping for anyone else okay so i'm not sure if i can do the access clearings right now here is that okay vijay or um, this is some a different yeah. platform all our access people oh all our access people okay awesome so i have a clearing uh, just give me a minute i was just conducting a class recently and um, okay meanwhile someone can ask me a question by the time i actually look for the clearing uh, uh, can i ask a question smriti go ahead go ahead vilma okay so now uh, the thing is uh, like uh, i know you know you know a bit of my history also uh, the thing is that uh, uh, you know i i get a lot of ideas okay to uh, monetize uh, stuff and uh, you know i always come in my own way like i i always come like uh, okay let me do this and when i get the idea i'm like wow this is such a great idea i'm going to draw and i'm going to create like millions with this and all of that and then i'm like oh but i don't know how to do this one thing i don't know how to do that one thing and then you know i just complicate the shit out of it in my head and then i don't implement i okay. mean i Every so time. you don't have to uh, when when there's an energy that shows up just choose yeah. that what stops you at times most of us is when we start thinking what will this choice create that's not your problem you don't have to think about what this choice will create mm-hmm. all right so this is what happens when uh, sorry i just lost my flow of thoughts what what was the question you had asked okay cool i got it so the thing is we don't we don't have to start thinking about what this choice will create for us just follow an energy choose if if it feels space if it feels um possibilities light just go for that don't get into thinking oh if i do this what will so and so think will this work out will i make money you're not choosing to see all these things you choose you keep choosing money okay i'm not saying you don't choose money but also don't start looking being vested in the outcome when every time you're choosing something a good question that usually i ask very often which was given by dr dane is what is possible for me that i do not think is possible that if i would allow the possibility would actualize a totally different reality for me i have it as a screen saver on my phone and uh, i remember i was on this bhutan trip with my husband i on a biking trip and i had nothing else to do i was just pillion riding and i was like i just kept seeing this clearing again and again and again with no uh, like nothing else in my mind like how it will show up i just kept seeing this clearing again and again and a lot of things opened up for me by the time i got back there was so many opportunities that showed up okay be willing to just follow that energy so this when you start getting into that head tripping when thinking too much and how many of you actually think your creations out of the way like you just keep thinking and then that's it it's gone all right so uh so kriti what are you saying asking can you please repeat this question okay all right uh, i want you able to type that in because uh, i'm on a different uh, the thing but what is possible for me that i do not think is possible that if i allow the possibilities would actualize a totally different reality for me maybe i'll do that okay thanks jill so this particular clearing really really opens up a lot of space okay lots start getting created when you don't actually think of how something will show up 
okay and i'm just looking for that undefined clearing just give me give me a minute So somebody had also asked me uh, about a little bit about right voice for you. Okay, I will just give a clearing for that. I will not talk about it on this particular platform. It's a different thing. Um, how how often were you praised for hiding, praised for staying in the background, unseen and unheard, and everything that is? Will you destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pork, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And do you feel that sometimes most people don't understand you? Okay. has there always been a longing in your world to find that one single person who actually really understands you and cares about you okay so here's a question for you what if your need to be understood is actually one of the greatest limitations to what you can be and create in and as your life what what's the value of creating yourself based on what others perceive you to be the way what's what's the value of letting other people's limitations stop you from creating all that you know is possible so what happens we all stop ourselves because nobody will understand us nobody can receive us so we stop creating what we know is possible in this world and what's the value of that everything this just brought up for each one of you will you not destroy and uncreate that please right wrong good bad pot pork all nine shots boys and beyonds start focusing on what's fun for you and so there's another question that i ask very often and it really opens up a lot of space for me is um if i was truly creating my life from the joy of it what would i choose every day i ask this question if i was truly creating my life from the joy of it what would i choose and it's amazing the kind of pathways that start opening up the kind of possibilities that start showing up okay and it's just a very simple question how many of you are not actually willing to have ease in life okay because it's easy so we don't really want to choose that okay what sorry let me just look at the chat there are a lot of questions what if most of the time we don't trust our knowing so koshik is it really true that you don't trust your knowing most of the times really who are you uh, whose reality are you validating here who doesn't trust you how much were you trusted in your life myself time? myself is it only you mm. right now i'm getting it's me okay the thing is uh the only person the thing is you do it's just that you don't have anybody else to validate it for you so you're not choosing it each one of us know okay the only time we stop ourselves is when we start looking at the rightness or the wrongness of the choice that that's okay. where okay. that so so start focusing on you'll just know knowing is instantaneous okay you'll just you'll just so let let me give you an example i'll just mute you because there is a lot of uh, this thing but i'm just muting everyone when you have to speak you unmute yourself so what happens when someone is uh, you in are interacting with someone and someone comes and say something to you okay then whatever they are saying might be uh, something they might be just praising you for example okay but it feels if it feels like someone has kicked you in your tummy okay if you get that kind of a feeling while someone is talking to you please know trust your awareness okay they might be praising you but what is the energy with which they are functioning okay that is your knowing you just know that they they're not really a well wisher they might be praising you but they there's an intensity or they are not very happy or they're jealous and that's the reason they are that that energy is something you will perceive from them that is your knowing that uh, contraction in your tummy while somebody is even praising you you will just know you'll be able to perceive the difference whether what about what they are choosing to show you and what they actually feel about you or think about you okay that's that's your knowing so start start trusting that 
of everybody knows okay thank you just, you're welcome just start trusting that are there any more questions how to handle such people all right so uh, just because you're aware doesn't mean you have to do something about it okay also don't choose to separate from them you can know people for what they are and still continue your work okay just know you'll just know that you cannot trust them or you know you will not maybe like to do a business um, you might not choose to make them your business partners or something you will just know how to uh, move your way around that okay with them so just because i'm aware that some so and so does not like me does not mean i start being angry with them or start separating from them that's not required at all just choose to be there be present be aware okay so let's i'll give another example when when most people think that manipulation is bad okay they like no that's there's a wrongness to it you can't manipulate or you should not manipulate but the thing is when you've judged something to be bad wrong or full mean or whatever you tend to sort of cut off your awareness you do like blinders you know where horses wear those blinders they don't want to see the bad they'll want to choose to see only the good okay when you're not choosing to see the bad when you're not willing to be the energy of manipulation then you will not be aware when other people are manipulating you okay so that something you have to be very aware so don't cut off whatever you think is bad whatever you've judged is bad don't cut that off be willing to be that energy when required okay because when you're choosing to be that energy of say for example manipulation now when others are manipulating you you are totally aware okay this is where this is what this person is saying they're trying to manipulate me okay now you have a choice whether to be the effect of it or not okay so start being very present be very aware of whatever is going on with you guys okay now uh i have some things that i'd like to share with you guys hold on okay so um how many choices are you not choosing and how many possibilities are you refusing based on what others expect of you everything that is times of godzillion will you destroy and unfit that please right from good bad pot pot call and shots poison beyond just because others expect you because they'll portray oh you're not good enough okay but that's their perception of you or that's their judgment of you just because they've judged you to be not good enough doesn't mean you're not good enough what are you aware of what's the value of stopping yourself because someone else cannot receive you or receive your brilliance you start acknowledging you okay and also whatever it is that you're looking to create just ask for that to show up without thinking how don't get into the how it will show up whatever it is no matter what even if it's a 100 million dollar business are you willing to ask ask for it and when you ask for it are you even willing to receive it okay we ask for a lot of things but are we willing to receive it our willingness to receive depends on where we have judged ourselves whether we deserve it or not okay who who the hell is anyone else or even us to think or decide whether we deserve to receive that much amount or not okay it's just our own points of view or can pour all that whatever keeps coming up okay so what if you were never wrong and you were always aware what if you always had a choice and you knew that this would create greater what would you choose then i like the chalk look on wilma's face that's so cool and if you were not judging your business and if you were not judging you what would you choose what would that create for you okay what would you change so what action can you take today to your business and your revenue stream flows that would increase and exponentialize them everything that doesn't allow you to perceive no be and receive that with total ease will you now destroy and uncreate it all please right from good bad pot pot all and shots boys and beyonds 
So most people don't uh, look around, look to see what they're, they're creating with the choices. They just look and focus on what, why they're not succeeding. Okay. So start instead of focusing on why you're not succeeding, because see, whatever you're giving attention and energy to, that is what is limiting you. All right. Start focusing on what would this choice create? Okay, cool. Follow an energy. Don't look for the right and wrong here. If it's looking, sound, looking fun to you, if, it's, if there's an energy of fun, just choose it. Okay? That's what it is. So what, get present to what you're looking to create with your business. What if the purpose of your business was to be present in every moment in ways that really expands and exponentializes your business and your life. For that, you have to be totally, totally, totally present with whatever's going on. Okay, I'll give you an example, uh, a couple of examples. So one uh, example is of Simone Milas's where she's skiing down a slope, okay? For her, business is like skiing down a slope. When you're skiing down a slope, at that moment, you are like really high speed, okay? You're skiing down at a very high speed, okay? Suddenly there might be a bush covered in snow that you'll have to suddenly dodge or there might be a snow rabbit or some animal which might just come in front of you. So you have to suddenly swerve, suddenly turn, make those changes. What she's trying to say is you have to be totally present with your business. So what if you acknowledge that your business is something like skiing down the slope where you have to be totally, totally present with and in the moment with whatever it is that you're choosing to do. Start recognizing when is it that you might need to shift or change, make certain changes in your business. What's required? What else is possible? What else can you choose? Who do you need to let go of? What are the new people you can add? What are the new energies you can add to your business? What else? Start asking these questions. And that starts really, really creating a lot. Okay. Now, um, what happens is most of the time we start looking at outside uh, sources and circumstances to see how things start showing up, okay? This keeps you totally at the effect of other people and their choices, okay? While you cannot control what others do, are you willing to choose what works for you without being the effect of other people? You can still choose for you. You cannot control what others choose, but you can choose still choose for yourself right? What are you not willing to choose? When you start recognizing that you are the source for, for the creation of your life, that one awareness will be the main game changer for you to start creating the phenomenal life instead of the posted stamp life that you're choosing right now. Okay. So, um, just recently, I just uh, did the Joy Business Facilitators training, my fourth training this time. And we were asked to fill up a form, okay? Just a survey kind of a thing where she, Simone just wanted to know, okay, where are we at with our business and what are we looking to create? And that's when I realized when she had asked, okay, where do you see yourself 10 years from now, five years from now and 10 years from now, what are you looking to create? Are you willing to be a multi-million dollar business? And I was like, man, I had not even thought that far ahead. That was like too beyond anything that I'd ever imagined. And I'm like, why, why am I thinking so small? Where am I just looking at, okay, I'm doing these few things and I'm just satisfied with that. What else can I choose? Now, when I'm asking you to choose, it's not from the space of how. Don't get into the how. Your willingness to create, your willingness to have that multi-million dollar business is what will start creating changes for you. The pathways will start opening up. It's a demand that you have to make all the time for things to start showing up for you. It's again a choice. What would you like to create from your, of your life? What would you like to choose? Just be totally present and aware and keep choosing and be willing to receive all that you're asking for also. Don't forget that. Don't forget to receive. Okay. A, a very good clearing. And my most favorite is uh, for people basically who are not very comfortable receiving things, 
this particular clearing really opens up a lot of space. Um, Jill, you might have it. You can just po post it here. How irrational can your receiving be to make you so successful that no one can stop you for all eternity? And everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be and receive that with total ease, will you now destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, online shots, boys and beyonds. So you can, you can, uh, sorry, there's just some, some, so many more messages. All right. So do you want me to repeat the clearing or, or you've got it? Uh, just repeat one. All right. So how irrational can your receiving be? Yeah. To make you so successful that no one can stop you for all eternity. Yeah. Thanks. Everything that is. Times of Godzillion. Will you destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, online shots, boys and beyonds. Okay. Now the thing is, uh, usually winning a lottery, gaining an inheritance. So these are the kind of things we keep wishing for. Okay. But what happens is when you're wishing for something to happen, you're always, you, what happens is you just keep waiting. Okay. What are you doing your whole life? You're just waiting and wishing and waiting and wishing and waiting. Okay, so you'll have all these wish lists where I'll, I'll get this huge inheritance or I want to win a lottery or something will show up magically for me. Where are you not willing to create? So instead of creating a wish list, are you willing to create the create list? All right, these are the things I'd like to create. Universe, what do I have to be and do to create it? What will it take for me to have this? Okay, so... When let's take, for example, you have a create list. Okay. There are 10 items there in that create list. There are huge things that you'd like to create. How do you go about it? First of all, make a demand. Okay. No matter what it takes, no matter how it shows up, I'm going to be it, choose it and create it and receive it. Okay. That demand, there has to be that intensity of demand. All right. Now, the second thing is, requesting the universe okay how do you go about that what will it take universe for me to create and receive this with total ease don't forget to ask for ease the thing and the third thing is the action required what energy space and consciousness can i and my body be to create and receive this with total ease now you can add a few more uh, words to it what energy space consciousness choice miracles mysteries magic and possibilities can I and my body be to create and receive this with total ease. Okay, these are the three things that you have to do when you make the create list and then just go for it. Don't get into how things will show up, how impossible it will be, where will I get the money? That's not your problem. What will it take? What do I have to be and do? And that demand. Nothing can stop you. Okay. The thing is, uh, most of the people usually go by, okay, uh, where will, who's going to give me this kind of money? How will it pos be possible? Where will things show up from? That's not your problem. Just make it happen. Okay. Simple as that. Cool. So here are some questions that you can ask. What else is possible that I've not yet asked for? Especially when you're, when you're making a create list, uh, question that you can ask to create uh, to increase your business and your revenue what else is possible that i've not yet asked for what can i put my attention on today that will increase my business and my money okay what can i add to my life today to create more revenue streams right away who or what else could contribute to my business where can i use my money so that it makes more money for me okay and so this particular line is um there's something that I do, which is so much fun and it just gets the molecules of money totally vibrating and it just starts creating so much more. So all of you lower your barriers and connect with the, with your bank account, with the money in your bank account. Okay. Imagine you are there in the vault with the money around all around you. This is your bank account. Okay. Imagine you're sitting there. Perceive the energy of that. Just imagine all that money, your bank, whichever is there in your bank account all around you and just start shuffling it all around. Just lift it up, throw it all around, shuffle, 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 just shuffle all the money everywhere. What are you doing? You're just infusing 
fresh energy in that. What happens with that? Money just creates more money. Money attracts more money. Ask it to create more baby money for you. Ask that money to copulate and make more baby money for you. Just in whatever way. It just, don't take it seriously. It's just basically you're asking the money in the bank account to create more money for you. And don't be surprised when things just, you start receiving money from different sources in your account. Be willing to shuffle every time. What are you doing? You're being totally present with, your, with the money in your account. Okay, that, that starts creating a lot of changes. Okay, so um, when you're asking those questions that I told you earlier, start realizing, okay, seeing what, what are the things that are showing up. Maybe more opportunities will show up, maybe more pathways will open up, or maybe you'll be a little less reactive to certain situations. Whatever it is, will start showing up recognize that wishing for something is not creating it. Okay. So throw away the wish list, go ahead and make the create list. Okay. All right. So does anyone have any questions? Because I can go on for hours just talking about stuff. And I think we have a little, we just have a few minutes left. And so if you have any questions. Uh, hi, Smriti. Hi, this is Anita. Anita here. Yeah. Hi, hi, Anita. Thank you. Thank you so much for being that contribution. You know, it shifted so much in my invest when you just said instantaneously I got it. Earlier, I used to have a list, to do list, and then yeah. I would write down uh, what would it take for me to complete this. And the word complete has a, such a huge energy on me that I, I couldn't cope, perceive, and receive beyond. And I used to wonder, you know, how do I write this question to ensure that? And that was such an amazing contribution. You're welcome. So when you said create and then, uh, you know, receive it. And uh, can I ask you something? How sure. do I make a demand of me that is still, can you please? The demand uh, of you. The yeah. thing is, when you make a demand of you, you're not willing to give up ever, no matter what. So here's one thing uh, that I'd leave you guys with. One is, uh, there is this reality which tells you you have to fit into the box. This is the way you have to be. This is the way things will show up for you. This is the only choice you have available. Okay, then there is the reality, which is a reality that you create for yourself from what you know is possible. Okay, mm. so when you're making a demand, that demand is from, you're creating from the reality that, that is your own reality. From, which, from what you know is possible, okay? So you can ask to employ this reality to fit in with your reality. When I'm talking about your own reality, you're creating your own reality, it is, you're not taking no for an answer where everything is possible. Anything and everything is possible, okay? You make it happen, no matter what. And the demand has to be really, really there. Um, I can give you a few examples. So sometimes, you know, you just, so there are a couple of examples. Uh, I don't know if you have enough time. Vijay, can we extend it a bit? Is that okay with you? Or, or uh, we are limited to a time? Okay, cool. So a um, couple of things I'd, I'd like to share. Okay, one was when I had to leave for a particular training and I had given my passport for renewal. Okay, and that uh, passport did not come on time. Okay, it was like, so I had to leave on a Wednesday evening until Tuesday morning, there's no passport in sight. Okay, and I'm like, okay, now what to do? So I, I checked and I realized that the passport is still at the police station. Okay, so I, I went there. They refused to give me the thing. I went to the regional passport office. They refused to uh, in even indulge me or whatever they didn't even sort of acknowledge my presence there i just had lowered my barriers and i kept pulling energy especially from the police people the people at the regional passport office the main guy he just said if they give you the passport in a sealed envelope you can take it to the cbi office once the cbi office clears it you'll get it okay otherwise you will not get it before friday now this is on tuesday they said you can't get the passport before friday and wednesday i had to leave for the for my training. Okay. 
I came back, then the police guys were not giving. And then I just stood there. I lowered my barriers and I kept pulling energy from them. Till one of them said, okay, you come in the morning and we'll have this, the paper signed because we can't give it to you right now because the senior official who has to sign will come only in the night. So I, I knew like I couldn't stretch it beyond that. So I came back home and then I was like feeling really dejected because I was feeling like, you know, I did all possible clearings and nothing really showed up and what the hell. Eventually I was like, I don't care whether I have a passport or not. I'm choosing this training and I'm going whatever it takes. Okay. So I packed my entire bags. I went to the parlor, got my hair done. I, I was just all set to leave. Okay. The next day morning, I, I, throughout the night, whatever, I didn't have a very good sleep because I kept doing a lot of clearings. In the morning when I went, the police people were so suddenly so contributive. They just handed me over the passport uh, file in a sealed envelope. I was going to the CBI office when a, one of my class participants call, called me and just asked, okay, what are you doing, Smriti? I just said, okay, this is what the situation is. This is what's going on. She's like, wait, I have a very good friend who's at the CBI office. So by the time I reached the CBI office in town, there was this guy who was waiting outside. He just took my file inside, came out five, within five minutes and he said, your work is done. I went to the passport office with, the, with all the details. They were like, uh, I kept getting the messages on my phone. Okay, the passport has gone for renewal and, or printing and all that stuff. So I received my passport at 4.30 in the evening and seven o'clock I had to be at the airport. The thing is, what, what was the main thing here? Not giving up, not being falling, humanoid. being humanoid, <laughs> not, not going by this reality, but willing to create my own reality. And this is with the government officials that I was dealing with, right? It's like, what can you create and achieve when giving up is not an option? What can you choose? You don't have to... I'm emphasizing on that. You don't have to get into how, okay? Just go for, this is what I want. What do I have to be and do to get it? That demand has to be really there. My, the demand that I had that I don't care whether I have a passport or not. I'm choosing this. I'm going, whatever it takes. That was the demand. Anita, that was the, if you want to see the uh -huh. intensity of the demand, this is yeah. what it has to show up as. I choose to get there as well. <laughs> right now <laughs> it's that energy it's you know it's so yummy and then it's a yeah being present bang on to get there that's it come what yes. may wow. yes that's that's what it is and also um, there are times like i to, so I, I end up creating stuff last minute and i'm like choosing to change this i had to travel for a particular training again one of these classes um, to rome and i was I was falling short of some money. Okay. And so I didn't know how that will show up, but I didn't know. I was still choosing to attend that class and I wasn't giving up. So at, I had to leave at 2.30 in the afternoon till 10.30 in the morning. I still was falling short of that money. So I had, I had enough money to pay for the class to, for the hotel stay and the uh, travel and everything. I didn't have enough money to sustain myself there. Okay. So I was like, now how do I go about that? I really needed, and I was falling short of only 60,000, okay, for those 10 days that I was, for, for five, seven days that I was supposed to be there. And I was like, now what? I thought I'll still choose to go to Rome. I'll ask those people that if I could pay them a little amount a little later, if they would allow that, or whatever, or even if I have to eat one apple a day, but I'm choosing to go for this class, okay? So that was the energy with which I was focusing on. But I was, do you see, not even for a minute did I give up. I kept choosing it. I kept choosing the class, whether I had the money or not. I had no hope from where the money would show up, but I was still choosing this. Okay. All I kept saying was, how does it get any better than this? What else is possible? And I remember saying that and suddenly I received a message on my phone where uh, one lakh had been transferred to my account. So I was like wow. really surprised and I called up because it mentioned who had transferred it. So I called up my friend. I was like, what made you just transfer money like that? She said, you know, Smriti, I, uh, I knew you were traveling and you remember last month when we had met, you had told me that you might not have enough money for this class. 
So I thought I just wanted you to have ease. I didn't get a, the time to uh, interact with you uh, later because I was busy, but I thought, let me just transfer this money. See, it made me aware of two things. One, when you don't give up, things just start showing up for you. Secondly, my point of view had created my reality. A month ago, I had decided that the class is a little expensive and I'd already mm. created a reality where I didn't have the money, not enough money. Do you get it? I had only yeah. created it. So that, start being very present and aware of what are you choosing? What are your points of view? What is creating this? Okay, and that's not all. I, I had to deposit a certain amount. Then she told me, she reminded me, it's Ganesh Chaturthi, so you can't deposit. I was like, oh man, now what? She's like, wait. And then she transferred another lakh to my account. And so I had two lakhs. Just suddenly, it was there in my account. And she says, Switi, you go ahead, enjoy your trip. And when you come back, you can always return to me. You can come and deposit your money and return my money whenever possible. Okay. That level of ease is when you start demanding ease with all your asks, the, that ease is what starts showing up. Be willing to receive that. Wow. You know, often we create miracles, but that but, you know, it is, uh, you know, when situation demands and sometimes, not every time. So I yeah. just change that, you know. Yes. Be that, be that every moment wherever it is required. Thank you for inspiring. You're, you're welcome. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So thank you everyone for being. Uh... Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, so, much. Thank you so much, Vijay. And... I, I would have loved to carry on, but there's a time limit to this. But see you guys soon, somewhere, very soon. Sure. Thank, thank you. you so thank much, you so everyone. Much. And I leave you yeah, with a thanks. question. Um, yes. What judgment... A question that you have to ask yourself every day is what judgments have you bought as real and true that's keeping you from receiving and choosing for yourself? Everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be and receive that with total ease. Will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Right from yes, that book, book, All and Shots, Boys and Beyonds. Cool. What judgments have you bought as real and true that's stopping you from receiving and choosing all that you know you're capable of? Okay. Uh, Rupul had asked me a question. If you could connect with me personally, I'd love to uh, chat with you for that. Cool. Thank you so much, everyone. It's so much. Thank you for being here. Thanks a lot. Thanks a million for, for being that contribution. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Vijay. Truly grateful for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. I am.